welcome back everybody. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Jennifer. And today we're gonna do a full face or mostly full face of Shantikai in celebration of their birthday sale. I sent out something on my Instagram, Abby Bliss White and a number of other content creators have uh, codes that you can use now until the 27th and the 27th the sale starts for everyone. Uh, so if you'd like to take advantage of the sale ahead of time, uh, I'll make sure that a link to her site, to Abby's site is down below. Um, I'm gonna put together today just sort of some of my favorites from Shantikai. I also ordered some things already using Abby's link um, to pick up some things that I didn't already have. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna pull my hair back. Sorry for gray hair. As I mentioned in my videos, my hair grows really fast and uh, it's only been three weeks. I don't have a, a primer by Shantikai, but I'm gonna try this new one that I've been uh, that I bought a while ago that I still haven't tried out. It's the Estee Lauder Futurist Aqua Brilliance Watery Glow Primer. It's in this little squeezy tube. And uh, it looks like that. So it's kind of thick, a little bit pink. Um, I absolutely love the Futurist Foundation, the Estee Lauder Futurist Foundation. So I thought, you know what, let's try the primer and see what we think. It has a slight scent to it. Nothing major. I don't know what that. I don't know what that is. But anyway, we'll see how it works. Um, so we're gonna go with the Chantecai Future Skin Oil Free Gel Foundation. I love this foundation. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's in this little pot, and that's only because I just don't like you know having to stick my fingers in it. Um, it's a very cooling foundation. As you can probably tell, my skin is very pink today. I mean, it's always pink, but particularly pink today. I was out uh, out and about this morning and my skin gets a little, a little pink in the heat or a lot pink in the heat, depending on <laughs> your opinion of it. But this is very, because it's like a gel, like foundation, it's very cooling. If you have very sensitive skin like I do, it's a great foundation to reach for. The only thing that I would say is there's not a lot of shades. Um, I am in, I wanna make sure I get it right because I've, I've actually been in different shades, Alabaster. And I'm not sure even Alabaster is perfect for me, but it's probably the closest that I've come. Um, I think it's a little yellow. But you know, nothing, nothing terrible. Um, it has a light coverage. It's not a full coverage by any means. I'm not even sure I would say it was a medium coverage. But you know, for the summer months, I personally don't usually use um, a full coverage or even a medium coverage foundation. In fact, I don't think really any time of the year. Um, I'm older. My skin is more mature. I find that full coverage foundations don't work as well. They settle into my lines. And because my skin is so dry, um, they just don't seem to, to work very well for me. So I wanted you to see me put that on. Like I said, it's, it's a nice coverage, but it's light, it's skin-like, it's gel. So it's got this really nice cooling feeling. Love it. So that's one of my favorite foundations by Chantecaille. I also have the Tinted Moisturizer, which is also an excellent, uh, light foundation. So those are my, my two favorites. If you're thinking about picking them up, this gives you an idea. If you have drier skin, if you're not looking for something full coverage, I would highly recommend this foundation, especially if you have sensitive skin or rosacea like I do. Um, let me do my brows really quick. I don't have any Chantecaille brow products and then we'll come right back. Brows are on. So let's go into powder. So there's a lot of great Chantecaille powders. I've actually tried a number of them. I used to have the um, the HD powder that they have. I actually worked my way through it. It's a gorgeous powder. I've heard great things about their loose powder. Honestly, across the board, um, really, they're, they're very finely milled. All the powders I've ever used by Chantecaille I've really enjoyed, but I have dry skin, so I don't invest in a lot of powders. I've mentioned this before. You know, if a new powder comes out in the market, I'll certainly try it for all of you if you guys are interested, but I'm not gonna have a huge powder collection because I just, my skin's not oily and I, I just, it would be a waste for me um, in general. The loose powder that I generally use is the Cogendo powder. I love that powder. 
Uh, I don't really have any other loose powders ex unless you include the meteorites, which I've, I've just started picking up. So, but what I do have is, and this is the limited edition, this is the Hummingbird. It's the blurring, uh, let me get the name right, the Perfect Blur Finishing Powder. This is a beautiful powder, guys. I mean, you can use it, I use it as a finishing powder. You can also use it as a setting powder. It's just gorgeous. Um, if you prefer, you know, their HD powder or a loose powder, you can certainly uh, get all of those. I would recommend all of them. I have nothing bad to say about any Chantecaille powder I've ever used. So I'm gonna use this today just as a setting powder. I'm just gonna put a little bit down, kind of right through here. So now I'm gonna use the Radiance Chic, Chic I never get it right, Chic, Cheek and Highlighting Duo in Rose. This was the um, summer collection that just came out, I'll link above. I did the entire collection uh, a review. And this is the um, blush and highlighter. They have it in a peach shade as well. If you are interested in picking this up, I would do it during the sale. One, you get 30% off, which is just amazing. And two, they are limited edition. So you will not be able to get them for very long. Like the Hummingbird collection and the, it was like, I forget which one that I have the single shadows from that were, you know, it was the giraffe and the elephant and that type of stuff. When they have limited edition collections, they're limited edition collections. Positano, I did that green eyeshadow in the um, summer collection review that I did. So those things do not stay around. Just, you know, if you're interested, this is the time. And it's a great sale, 30% off is awesome. The bronzer I'm gonna use is Goa. Goa is really gorgeous. Goa has more of a, well, I don't wanna say, well, it's a little bit reddish. I mean, you can see on my skin tone, it's a beautiful bronzer. It has like a glow to it that I think is just really nice. Um, it comes in Goa and then there's one, I forget what the other one is, but it's like more golden. Um, this one works better for my skin tone. I like to kind of pat it a little bit first. Like I get a little bit of like a contour out of it and then I go in and I, I buff it all out. Um, they also have powders and I don't know if they are available right now that are much lighter. They're, I, I think they're, I think they're actually referred to as a powder, not really referred to as a bronzer. Um, but Goa, like I said, is one of my favorites. It's really very pretty. Um, it has more of that sun-kissed look to it. Kind of like the Gucci a little bit. I mean, not exactly, but, but similar. I don't usually do a pink, pink blush, but I like this one because it's, um, it's not, I mean, it looks really pink on my hand and it looks really pink, I guess, in the, in the case, but I didn't find it to be like too pinky pinky. So I, I really do, I, I like this blush. There's a, um, in the order that I just placed, actually, I did pick up another blush. So I will show you that one as well. All right, it's going with the highlighter. And we'll buff it all in at the end, guys. So for eyeshadow, I do have a, a couple of the single, sh I have a lot of the single shadows. Like I said, the, the elephant, the giraffe, pangolin, all of those. I have the Positano. It's that uh, very minty green that I did in the video that I linked up earlier. I have the Hummingbird Warm, but the ones that I actually like the best are their duos. And they are actually called Le Chrome Luxe Eye Duos. This is in Tibet. And let me just show you on my hand. That's Tibet. They're just really, they're really nice shades. Um, I think there's like five different um, duos. I'm not absolutely sure, I'll put it down below. But they're just, they give you like a beautiful look without trying too hard, if that makes sense. Like, so I'm just gonna go into, the, I'm gonna go into the darker shade and I'm gonna use that sort of in the um, outer part of my eye here. And they go on beautifully. They are very shimmery, or at least this one is. Um, 
because they're kind of like these locks, they have more, I guess, of a sheen than, you know, some of the other shadows, but I really, I really like them. I have this, I have Tibet, and I have another one, which name is escaping me at the moment. I'll put it down below. But I also picked up two more of them in the sale, just because, I mean, again, 30% off, Shantikai is not a, is not an inexpensive brand. I mean, they use great quality ingredients. They give to really, I think, important causes. I, I, I enjoy the message of the brand. Um, I just think, you know, it's, they are more than just about makeup and skincare. And so I feel good buying from them. And I just think, you know, for me, again, because I have sensitive skin, I always know that when I purchase one of their products, I'm not gonna have any issues. I'll bring you in a bit closer so you can see the eye look and finishing touch. <laughs> We're awfully close now. Okay, so this is the eye look. You can see what I mean. It's a, I mean, it's a simple look. It's two shades, but it's just, it's so beautiful. And in my opinion, just, just really classy. I just love the way it looks. Um, I, I really like the duos. I think you'll be very happy if you pick one of those up. I do not have, strangely enough, any of the Chantecaille eyeliners. I did pick one up in my new order. I'll tell you about that at the end. So I'm gonna use uh, Charlotte Tilbury, just the classic black. Let me put that on and we'll get to my... Okay, so let me buff into the skin some of the finishing powder that I was talking about earlier, the one that I used as the setting powder. This is... That's the thing about powder, guys. I mean, if you want to use it as a setting powder, if you want to use it as a finishing powder, you can use it as anything you want. It's just that different powders will have like a different luminosity. Something like this one, I think is a great blurring powder. You'll see what I mean. It just blurs everything. It smooths everything out. But if you're looking for something that has more of a like luminosity, like the meteorites or something, you know, this isn't going to do that. This is going to blur, which is, a great thing. Um, so you can use it, I mean, you can use different things for, for whatever your purposes are and for your skin. If you like it the way that it works in one way and it tells you it's supposed to do it in another way, don't worry about it. Whatever works best for you is fine. But all their powders are, I, I really do like all of them. Uh, so the mascara, the Chantecaille mascara is very expensive. <laughs> um, but what I would tell you about this mascara is it's the only one that I can use when my eyes are acting up, which of course they are now. And also the only one I'll use when my eyelashes are um, not irritated, but like if you've ever had your eyelashes curled um, or if you've worn false eyelashes, like the ones that are glued on extensions, um, this is, you know, and, you, and your eyelashes are damaged because of it this is the kind of mascara you want to buy. They, it, there, are, there are ingredients in here that actually like strengthen your lashes, condition your lashes, make them feel better. I can actually wear this for like a couple weeks and notice that my eyelashes actually do look healthier than when I use other mascaras. The thing that I would say about it though, because it's got great qualities, you'd say, well, why don't you just use this mascara and no other, is that I wouldn't say that it gives you a tremendous amount of volume or length. It's pretty, it's a nice mascara, and I would use it, and I have used it for like my everyday kind of look. But I wouldn't say if you're looking for something dramatic, it's gonna work well for you. Okay, so mascara is on. Now, Lip products. I love their lip tint, lip cheeks, lip veils. <laughs> I mean, all their lip products are great. My favorite is the lip veil in Tambodi. I think this was part of the whole elephant thing that I was talking about before. I don't remember exactly the name of the collection, which is why I just keep saying elephant. I know that's not right, but um, the elephant is the, the lasting image for that. Um, and this shade is just like a, for me, it comes off as like a really good nude shade 
This is the product that I kept in my purse that I was using practically every day because it's just really easy. You saw how quickly I put that on. It's it's almost like it's almost like just a moisturizer. I mean, it's a veil, a lip veil. So it gives color. It's a nice shade. It works on most people, but it's not a lipstick. Like it's not it doesn't give a lot of coverage. It's easy to put on. You can throw it on you don't necessarily need even a mirror because it's not, the color's not so pigmented that you'd have to worry about it too much if you got it kind of all over your face. So um, really quickly, let me tell you what I picked up and what I would recommend with the sale. So I picked up the Cheek Shades in Butterfly Bliss, which is like a, a rosy pink. If you check out their cheek shades, like I said, they have the combination ones um, with the C series that, that I picked up, uh, the Radiance Chic Cheek in Rose and Peach. And then they also have the blushes that are by themselves. So I picked up the one that, like I said, the butterfly one. I picked up the Glide Silk Infused Eyeliner in Jasper, which is a really pretty shade. Uh, I picked up two of the eye duos. The one I wore today was Tibet. I picked up Monte Carlo and Grand Canal. And then I also picked up the CBD face and body cream because I've just, I don't know, I've just really wanted to try it out for like the longest time. Um, I have really sensitive skin and I just thought, you know what, I should try it and, and see what I think. The other things that I think I would recommend, so they have a metallic eyeliner, which I might still pick up. They have it in four shades. They're all really beautiful. If you like sort of a, a metallic look, they're not crazy over the top, they're just beautiful. There's a emerald green, a blue, a purple, I think it's a purple, a violet, I'm sorry, and a silver gold. I'm thinking about picking up the green one um, and maybe even the, the, <laughs> Maybe the silver one. I don't know. I mean, I I know I, I don't need these things. The eyeliner that I picked up in Jasper is they have a, a olive, a violet, black forest, raven, which is the black, uh, gray, uh, a deep espresso, which is called earth, an amethyst, and Jasper, which is like a deep bronze. Uh, I like you know sort of like the bronzy shades around my eyes. They have a great um, eye uh, nude shade uh, that you can put in your waterline. It's really a great shade. It's not too white, it's not too yellow. I mean, it's perfect. And it does make your eyes look more awake. I tend not to use those types of things. I always forget to put them in my waterline, but they do work. The mascara is the faux, I'm never getting their name right, the Faux Sills Longest Lash Mascara. That's what I use today. Like I said, I love that. I would definitely pick that up if you're in the market for a good mascara. That's a great everyday mascara. It, I mean, it does look nice. It, it does give length, it does give volume, but it's not overly dramatic, but that will make your eyelashes better. I know that sounds weird. Um, I would say the, the foundation, the gel foundation, I absolutely love that. I think you would, if you have sensitive skin like mine, the uh, Future Skin is just phenomenal. The Stylo, the Lee, the Lay Camouflage Stylo, it's like a light reflecting, right, light reflecting under eye pen. It's like the YSL one. That one's really, really good. I do enjoy that. The powders are all excellent, like I said. I have been thinking about picking up the Eclat Du, which is also limited edition, like the one I used today. It's more of a luminous powder and I, I've been thinking about picking that up because it would be more like a finishing, like more like a, a luminous finishing. So I don't know. I don't know if I should get it. Let me know what you think. Um, but last but not least is the rose water. This is the travel size because I was traveling all the time. I of course haven't been. And you can see it's, it's sweating. The bottle is sweating because I keep it in my little mini fridge in my bathroom. Um, this is pure rose water. And honestly, I just use this to freshen up my face. It's pure rose water. It smells amazing. And it's the only mist that I always go back to. You know, there's a lot of ones out there 
people like there's like a watermelon there's a, there's a ton of them but this is the one that actually makes my skin feel good i love the smell i know it's pure rose water the ingredients are i mean i just i love it and i would recommend that as a mist to anyone hands down uh i didn't get into the skincare today i don't use chantecai skincare not because i've heard anything bad i just it's not a pro it, it's just not something i use i have a lot of products that i've kind of built together my skincare regime and I haven't really moved away from that. Um, maybe someday I will. So I can't really comment on any of the products. I'll let you know what I think about the CBD cream once I have it. Um, but that was sort of a overview of what I, are some of my favorites, some things that I would recommend and some of the things that I picked up uh, using the early sale. So I'll have a link below to Abby's video. You can check it out. I believe it's the 27th, I'll put it down below, that the sale starts for everyone, but right now you can shop early with the 30% off code. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hit like, hit subscribe. Don't forget, I have the giveaway going on. They are $100 gift cards. So there are four different stores that you can pick from. It's in the description box in the giveaway video that I will link above and all the, um, Details and directions will be in that so you can pick up pretty much whatever you'd want with those gift cards if you in fact are one of the winners Thank you so much guys. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye